what I always say, 0.25 diopters every three to four months is very much a standard rate of improvement. Welcome back. Let's talk about why people give up. And people generally don't give up. It's fairly uncommon, but it does sometimes happen. And the main reason that people give up is they're overdoing the amount of challenge that they're creating for themselves. Basically, undercorrecting the differential so that your distance to your computer screen that's ergonomically comfortable is not clear enough to see reasonably comfortably. You want a little bit of blur challenge, but you don't want to constantly be struggling and fighting. That's, and if you, you, most people spend a lot of hours out of the day up close, so if you're doing that and all of those hours are a struggle, then you're probably not going to persevere and succeed. Same thing with normalized. And, and another reason people give up and few, again, relatively few people give up when they follow the method accurately. People tend to give up if they're not doing it, if they're not using normalize at all. And I've seen this from time to time, and I made a few videos on why you should not stop wearing glasses and why you should not wear differentials for everything, because that also happens sometimes that people just get the right differential or close to the right differential, but then they also use that close-up correction, the correction that's meant for close-up use for the distance vision, and that's just not enough, right? And then all of a sudden you can't see people's faces clearly, it gets awkward, you're, you're, you feel uncertain about, you're walking down the street, you're saying hi to somebody who was not who you thought it was, that kind of stuff will make people quit. Most, or almost all the time, it's because some of the fairly basic aspects of endomyopia are not being followed. People basically reading about it, neither, either not reading all of it or enough of it, or reading all of it, understanding it, but then deciding that they're just going to come up with their own thing, which is perfectly cool, but you have to realize that well over a decade and thousands of people have shaped how this works, and we've tried many things that didn't, didn't really succeed, so what you, where we're at today, what you're ending up with now is basically the most effective that we've found and we still continue improving because there's still people that are trying other stuff but for the most part using the right differential to where you can see clearly up close with a little bit of blur challenge and using the right normalize where you can still enjoy outdoor life with a bit of blur challenge because all you need the amount of blur that you really need is a license plate at a distance that's a bit blurry right you don't need so much blur that you can't make out people as you're walking past them so it's important not to overdo the challenge aspect, right? I mean, if you're starting running, you're not starting with a 20 mile run, right? Like you're starting with a little bit and that's all you need. You need a little bit of stimulus to get you further. You don't need some intense, insane amount. Most common thing. And then uh, the other thing that sometimes happens, people don't measure, right? So you're imagining you're improving or you're not improving, but you don't have quantifiable numbers you don't have data to back up where was I last month where was I two months ago where was I three months ago and then you're having a bad day and then you go oh this isn't working and the times that people have said to me this isn't working and I said okay let's troubleshoot let's look at your log they don't have a log that's that's very common again in the relatively few cases but in those cases it's very common that there's no proper log and if you have no data you can't quantify what have you been doing wrong if anything have you actually been improving have you not been improving people just get random glasses like all this stuff like the the method is pretty straightforward it's pretty simple but you do want to follow the basics you know like i don't i don't know how to bake cakes but i compare it to the idea of baking a cake you don't just read the recipe and go oh yeah flour and eggs and sugar and stuff and then you just make something out of flour and eggs and sugar without following the recipe right like there are reasons that everything happens when it's supposed to happen and to what degree and how much you're measuring in there same thing right like and the, the most critical parts is you need the right differential you need to eliminate close-up strain you can't have residual ciliary muscle spasm which i explain in great detail in another video you have to make sure that you get enough distance vision time that you don't have residual ciliary spasm otherwise you can't improve your eyesight right and then you need enough 
distance vision, active focus on a very regular basis for the stimulus to get you to improve. And if that's the case, what I always say, 0.25 diopters every three to four months is very much a standard rate of improvement. Some people will go faster, slower. If you're going slower than a quarter diopter every three to four months, then you either have too much ciliary spasm or you're not getting enough proper distance vision time with some active focus stimulus, or you're not wearing the right glasses. So troubleshoot that stuff. It's worth making this video because every couple months, no, more often, like every month or so, I get a, an email of somebody saying, hey, I'm not improving, I'm improving very, very slowly. And each time I kind of type out this, okay, so you're, you're, you have to make sure you don't have too much close-up strain, right? Like make sure when you go outside that your ciliary spasm is resolved and you have to have enough daily distance vision time, otherwise you just can't improve. Right? I mean, if you're trying to lose weight and you start running, but then you eat 10 pizzas, you're probably not going to lose weight. The same thing, like if you go outside for an hour, but then you spend 10 hours in close-up and in, with poor ambient lighting and you're not using active focus, you're not going to improve if you have ciliary spasm. So the short version of the message is read as much about in myopia as possible. Understand really the idea of blur horizon. Watch the videos. Take the time to understand this somewhat wide-ranging subject before you make actual changes and you'll do fine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.